Warriors have taken a commanding 3-2 lead. The Celtics' backs are against the wall. We're about to see if they have any more fight left in them. Let's get into it. Hey, yo! Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Chef D, and I'm here to give you the winning ingredients for your Thursday night slate showdown game six we have for the NBA finals between the Golden State Warriors and the Boston Celtics as we know the Warriors have taken a commanding 3-2 lead and we know the stats okay teams that go on and win that game five have a 70 percent chance of winning the series okay so that right there pretty much sets in stone that's like being down 0-3 in baseball okay so this is High probability that the Warriors are going to probably finish them in game six. We'll see if they can push the Celtics can push it to a game seven. Curious about that. But before I deep dive into this very intriguing game six, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Message Jets D. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok as well, Chef underscore D91. And don't forget about the Patreon if you want more DFS advice and betting advice as well you can go to the instagram you'll see daily posts of winning bets okay on there as well if you need any proof or just come to me and i'll just show you it doesn't it really doesn't matter um so we are going to deep dive into this slate starting at the util position on DraftKings. then we'll go to the captains our favorite captains that we got on fanduel all right so at the util position we have the Boston Celtics coming back home, so I'm going to go with their role players here, all right? They're going to be fighting and clawing, trying to give it their all to force it to a game seven. So we're going to see some big performances from some veterans. And the first one we're going to look into will be Al Horford, all right? Al Horford had a very up and down series so far. Came, came onto the scene in his first NBA Finals game. And blew it all away all right 42 fantasy points 26 uh points six rebounds three assists one steal in that game he stepped it up in game three as well but he's been struggling in between so we're getting him on a little bit of a trend so hopefully we'll get him back in boston in a must-win situation al horford should show up all right they've been building his story all playoff long since he hasn't been you know into the nba finals and he's now he has this opportunity i think he's going to give it his all in this one i can probably see a double double for him um he's been pretty close in most of these games nine and nine in game uh, five in game one he had 26 he got you with the points in game three almost got you a double double there with 11 and eight so probably see an al hole for double double in this game um probably gonna be a back and forth pace they're gonna leave it all out on the court al horford is going to be our first util person we're going to go for next one will be jalen brown okay in this particular game jalen brown i need more peripherals from him that's why i didn't put him in that uh captain spot which i've been putting him pretty frequently uh he came through in game one and game three with a 45 uh fantasy point performance and 48 uh, fantasy point performance has been struggling in the last two games uh, from that three-point line uh, especially in game five or five he was at least hitting getting you a couple threes each and every game that took a decline um, the rebounds are fine uh, peripherals are fine with four assists uh, steals but we need more points and we need the threes especially you get a bonus on DraftKings with that three-point ball so I'll bump down Jalen Brown to a util spot we need him to score. He needs to show up and be the Robin to Jason Tatum's Batman. All right. So Jalen Brown is going to be our second util guy that we are going to go with. All right. Next on our freaking list of role players that we got going on right here will be Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart has been that key cog. All right. In a lot of these games and definitely showed up in a lot of these wins in game uh, one and game three. Uh, he's been pretty consistent more reliable than um Jalen brown or al horford or even robert williams mark smart has been that guy that's been knocking down threes providing hustle plays uh with steals uh help providing assists turnovers he needs to put that down just a little bit they have a turnover problem between him and jason tatum but that's fine 
I see him knocking down some big threes. We can hopefully get one of those big blowout Marcus Smart games like he did against Miami with 47 fantasy points or in that other Miami game where he had 64 fantasy points. Marcus Smart is going to be key to this trio right there. They need all three of their guys that they're going to pull a win together here. They're putting Andrew Wiggins on Jason Tatum now. Um, not saying that's the only reason why, you know, he's having a, a subpar finals right now, but the other guys are going to have to step up so he can create easier shots for Jason Tatum. So Marcus Smart is going to be our third util guy we're going to go for um, in this game six. And next, we have the main guy off the bench. We're not going Grant White. We are going Grant White, Grant Williams. I put their names together. We're going with Derek White here. Derek White in this game has been getting uh, big minutes here. He's been consistently knocking down jumpers. He had his first bad performance since the Miami series, pretty much. Other than that, he's been coming in and putting down timely buckets, okay? 16 points in game four. In game one and two, came through with 12 and 21. Knocking down that three-point ball, that is going to be key. If he is not knocking down that three-point ball, someone else is going to have to step up and put points on the board. Or it just could be a big Tatum or a big Brown game, all right? So if we're looking for someone, cheap salary, coming off the bench, getting uh, around 20-plus minutes, Derek White is going to be that guy, all right? Next on the Utah spot, I did not forget about the Warriors, all right? I definitely wanted to get to the Warriors right now. I have a lot of Warriors in the captain position, but for the Utah guys we're going to key in on will be Draymond Green is one of those guys at $7,000 in salary. Um, found out in this previous game, but he finally stepped up, okay? Not saying it was a big offensive performance, but it was something where he had impact on the court all right eight points you saw what he did in the first half it boosted their offense all right able them being able to get him in some pick and roll get him going get his uh mojo going get the crowd pumped it really helped the golden state warriors there he chipped in with eight rebounds six assists that's what he's going to do each and every game find open guys find the open shooter draymond green has the potential for a triple double so i want to definitely take full advantage of that each and every game he has it in him and he's getting the opportunity not only he's down low getting those rebounds he is also facilitating the ball the question mark is only the points and i will take my shot on the points yet again all right last but not least our last util guy before we go to the captain will be gary payton the second all right they have low i think they're they're not scared anymore of this boston celtics team with their big lineup they even gave kevin looney lesser minutes they're going with gary payton the second they're going with auto pointer jr they're going with nemanja bialita these guys that um have more uh scoring ability and defensive ability um my, Kevin Looney's more of a liability, especially offensively. So they're going with more athletic guys. And Gary Payne is one of those guys that have stepped up 26 minutes, 680 shooting, 15 points, five rebounds, three assists. Outstanding performance of what we saw from him in game five. I expect him to get some big minutes. He's a great defender. And as long as he's knocking down uh, those threes in the corner and providing some hustle plays, he's going to stay out on that car, uh, court. So I definitely like him at 6,300. Let's go to FanDuel and let's focus in on our captains. All right. The first one is obviously Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry, this could be the game that ends the series over here. 4 2 series for the Golden State Warriors. And if Stephen Curry steps up and has a huge game, he's most likely going to get that finals MVP, coveted finals MVP that he's been trying to get all his career. This is his year. I think it's going to happen on Thursday. So he's going to be our number one captain because it is his time he's had. He's had an outstanding NBA finals, averaging over 35 points. Um, so Curry will be our number one option. Number two will be Jason Tatum if he puts his team on the back on his back and really leads them to a game seven it's going to be on his shoulders he's going to have to perform outstandingly he's going to have to provide nine ten eleven rebounds he's going to have to provide not 25 points he's going to provide 30 35 points he's going to have to each quarter he's going to have to pro provide serious serious impact none of this 27 and no Jalen brown does that all right tatum tatum has to take over 
for them to force a game seven. So he's going to be on our list as our second captain. Number three, Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins has been the most consistent Golden State Warrior, and he showed up in his previous game. Definitely 26 points, 13 rebounds, two assists, one block, one steal. We thought that 16 rebound game was a fluke. It wasn't. This was one of the keys. The reason why that they can go away from Kevon Looney is because Andrew Wiggins providing big rebounding production as well. So him coming through, putting solid defense on Jason Tatum or whoever he's guarded. He's been outstanding. Even against Luka Doncic in, in that Dallas Maverick series, Andrew Wiggins has stepped it up to another notch. He's going to be our third favorite captain option for Thursday. And then last but not least, Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson is the closer for the Golden State Warriors. He did it against Memphis. He put them away. Um, he did it against Dallas as well. So we're going to follow the trend here. I hopefully can see um, 4C Clay Thompson taking it to a whole nother level. Maybe we get one of those six, seven type of three point performances from Clay Thompson. He did have one of his second better performances of the series in that previous game. Um, I see consistency out of him. Hopefully, he's going to come out guns blazing in game six, knocking down those three point balls. He has that killer mentality in him. I definitely foresee Clay Thompson game six. We already know about it. Each game six um, in this playoffs, pretty much, he has gone off. So this is another scenario where we're getting Klay Thompson at a nice price. He can be a value play at the MVP spot or captain spot, and you can pay up at those um, util positions, all right? So those are going to be our four captains for Thursday. Let me know in that comment section down below if you have any other suggestions at util or captain, maybe a different configuration. We could definitely speak about that down below. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back very, very soon with another video. Peace out, guys.